Hello there, I'm Woodhouse204, and this is episode 7 of our replay of Suikoden 1. Uh, I'm joined by my usual host and friend. Say hi, Austin. Hello. Uh, how's it going? I think I think I'm doing well. I, I've, I've been at work today, but everything's been okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I can't complain. I get to do this again, and I'm happy that, that we're doing it. So yeah. yeah. How about you, no, sir? Same. Same. Been been taking care of a lot of a lot of menial life tasks uh, lately. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I just got back from the car shop. Had to get like an oil change, all that sort of, you know, just general mm. maintenance sort of stuff going on. Uh, I was a little little overdue on that. That's a is it a strange house? I guess it's a fairly normal house. It, it's meant to be an inn. But there's oh. nobody here, so we can't just, you know, go to the free beds. Yeah, this yeah. situation, like we have to yeah. pay somebody to be able to use these beds, which seems wrong to me. I feel like if yeah. nobody's on duty, we should just be able to sleep with no problems. Well, that makes more sense to me. And we, there's nobody there, so we can't steal or loot anything. Nobody at the post office. And... That's a lovely picture. Okay, so. Yeah. At uh, the end of the last episode, we came to the Cobbled Village, which is what this is, uh, because we are joined by our good friend Kirkus, who is an elf Kirkus. that lives in the Great Forest. Um, we yeah. have to investigate what's going on. Um, so I think we have to go east, which is this way, I believe. Yep. Oh, we're on the other side of the oh. forest. Interesting. Okay. Wow, that, that, that is a great forest. More cobbles. Oh. Okay. So, um, for those of you who are unsure when we record this kind of thing, uh, we we had a news drop from the Nintendo Direct last night. I know, Kirby! Yay! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, no, it, it, if, if it's your deal, like, it, it's not mine, but I'm not going to take away somebody's enthusiasm for something like that. that that's that's uncool. It's not something yeah. I would do. But, um, yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm very pleased... It's... That it's been announced, like a, a 3D Kirby, which has never happened before, right? Mm -hmm. and, well, not, street, not, not in like a open world sort of style. Like yeah. you had, the, I think the 64 one was a 3D Kirby where you could uh, move back and forth. Still, it was basically a 2D platformer, yeah. but it was 3D graphics. And then there was that golf game on the SNES. That was 3D. Oh yeah, that's fair. I didn't that think about 3D. that. That's a so, great game. That, yeah. that is a that is a fantastic game. Oh, we can save uh, it. Oh, but yeah, uh, there was that. There was um, uh, no Smash news. Got? No, the, Smash the news. only news the only news about Smash we got was that there will be Smash news. Yeah, like a later date. The the thing that most people actually tuned in for was just like, yeah. hey, I know you've all tuned in. At least they said it at the top of the show. Like, mm -hmm. I know you've all tuned in for Smash news. We'll tell you that later, in its own separate yeah. thing. That was so, a bold play of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd say so. they they easily could have gotten away with just doing it the other way. Yeah, and just like have nobody turn up, uh, uh, have no news all the way through, and then just like went. Sorry, guys, like, you'll have to come sorry. back. to Yeah, that would have been, that would have been a bad move though on their part. Yeah, I think they did right by going in up front with it. Yeah, uh, Valeria. Uh, right, I'll, I'll do Valeria. Cool. Wait, phrasing. <laughs> um, that's enough. Listen to me. How dare you be so insulting? Listen? Listen, you say? I didn't know you humans could talk. Rude. So what do you have to say? Have you thought of a good way of exterminating us with your tiny minds? <laughs> wow. That's right. Quander is planning something truly frightening. Not only is he going to wipe you out, he's planning to burn down this entire forest. This forest that also happens to be my home. You humans are too stupid to realize such a task. Hey, lock this one up. Wait, is this, this the village one in... elder? Like, yeah, put this put this one in the kennels. <laughs> wow, this that is the village elder, and he's yeah. just like casual racism, not a problem. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Why, it's Kirkus. Say your friends, aren't they? 
Human. 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 He, your yeah. human. Oh, look, Kirkus. Kirkus has human friends. Yeah. Like what? What are they like? You? They live like what? A hundred years? Oh. Oh. Do they even weird. know how to wash themselves? Like they. Gosh. They live in filth. Yeah. Uh, I'm just wondering if we've got any new stuff Ooh. that would be interesting. A oh, that's expensive. Robe that, that's expensive. It's very okay. expensive. Uh, the feather is a lot more reasonable. <laughs> like, 4,000 for a feather. Ah, I see we are in the elf village. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one or two of these if we got some space. <laughs> He's just like, sucker. <laughs> I like how he says beat it. You see that? Yeah, get out of here. I wonder yeah. if the prices go down after you solve the elf subquest. Oh, don't tell me that. I've just bought two two feathers. Extortion for prices. 4,000. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, you could have bought them for four. <laughs> I just found these outside. Yeah. Uh, okay, so give that to Kirkus. You humans are so amused by the smallest, most <laughs> insignificant things. Uh, so, amused by the, the smallest insignificant things, uh, more stuff that was announced at the, uh, the Nintendo Direct, uh, there was uh, more Castlevania stuff, which yeah. uh, I, I know that you and several other people in the Discord are very happy about. Uh, yeah, I uh, can play uh, Aria of Sorrow again for the first time in, in a little while. Uh, it's a very, very good Castlevania game. Wait. You, you take your pick. <laughs> take your pick. There you want go. shoes or you want feather? There, there you we go. go. <laughs> uh, cape? Okay. Is cape better than boots? No. Nope. Should we get rid of cape. Okay. There we go. I'm guessing we sell those. I mean, we are getting a little bit low on money, so. <laughs> uh, boots. And cape. There boots? We go. Less than one feather. <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, we do need some items. Some so, uh, a, a human sewn cape? Eh. Yeah, I'll give you a thousand. Are you saying this? I have nothing to sell to humans, but Kirkus is okay. All right. I Kirk. mean, I get the stigma because like humans are horrible to everybody, but mm -hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna carry this for for Kirkus. Um, yeah. I, I'm not taking it for myself, I'm carrying it for Kirkus, okay? Here, Kirkus. Here, Kirkus. As soon as we get outside, Kirkus, go ahead and hand that over. <laughs> but yeah, I've never played any of those those games, uh, the Castlevania games on the um, on the GBA. Although A few I... of them, they're, they're, they're varying in quality. Um, Aria of Sorrow, that. to me, is the main one that's worth getting uh the the uh one of the other ones has like a pretty interesting little card mechanic where you can like combine different cards together to uh create different weapons and magical effects yeah. that's pretty cool uh but the animation in that game is like really clunky looking um so i, I did notice so, that on the, the trailer like it, two yeah the, like two or three of the games looked really good and then one of them was just a little bit like Mm. Yeah, yeah. It was the first one that was made for the GBA, and I, I think it was tell. a launch title. So it's yes. like, it yeah. definitely looks that way. Uh, this guy gave us some interesting information, by the way. To the north of the dwarf mines, to the south, Quanda's Roseman's Castle. They both want our land. So I don't go. know what they would. Dwarfs the with can't you. climb, and humans can only cut things down. I don't know why they want our stuff. Hey, Kirkus, I'm surprised you got back in one piece. After all, <laughs> you'd be a coward who dis- After all, you're a coward who disappears before a battle. Everybody thinks Kirkus is brilliant, obviously. Uh, wow. Let's see if there's... Is, I think... I'm, I'm just searching for, like, you know, unique characters at this mm -hmm. point. Did you know that these creatures up north, called dwarves, catch elves and eat them? Scary, eh? All right, you're just an NPC. I'm not going to talk to you. NPCs here. Yeah. Saw the blue hair for a second, and it was like, oh, wait, are yep. you important? Nope. Nope. 
Man, we don't discriminate either, turns out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Oh, there, there's a person. Oh, there's he's a person. Uh, Kirkus, why did you leave me alone? I was lonely whilst I was alone. <sighs> I didn't mean to leave you alone. How terrible, going off alone. You should have taken me with you. Was it fun outside? I nearly drowned. No, I mean, I didn't go out to play, you know. I didn't take you because I didn't want you in danger. Of course. That, that's the end wow, of the conversation, Grimio. I guess. All right. Kirkus, did you do something bad? Grandpa looks really angry. Uh, excuse me, uh, I, can I just... Yep. Uh, yeah, just your trying to get around to there real quick. Uh, gotta go talk <laughs> to uh, talk to the prisoners. Oh, there's two. Can we break in? No. Not yet. That would make things interesting, but no. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. Kirkus, why did you leave without my permission? What did you do out there? There are humans who are fighting the Empire, too. I left to get help from the Liberation Army. As they call themselves, to protect the village of the elves. Good sentence structure. Mm hmm. Protect this village? What are you talking about? We don't need human help to protect ourselves. What are they going to do? Die at the enemy? <laughs> Bleed all over them? It's true that at one point, Quanda's men had the upper hand, but they're humans after all. They've been behave they've been behaving themselves recently. Playing in the dirt. Or eating it or something. I don't yeah. know. Shut up, Kirkus. You left the village without permission <laughs> and dared return with filthy humans. Lock them filthy all up. Filthy humans. You brought humans into my house. Disgusting. What? Why? Why, Grandpa? Why are you arresting Kirkus? Oh, it seems we were right to come down here. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see what this we were, is. We were just trying right. to save them the trouble. Oh. Oh, I remember this guy. Well, if it isn't chicken-hearted Kirkus, who turned, ran and turned and ran when he found out the Imperial Army was attacking. Hey, don't you remember me, Stallion, the fastest pair of feet in the village? Didn't you know? You should have seen how fast I ran when Quander attacked. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, his, all of his running has made him very aerodynamic <laughs> in the in the face shape. Yeah. He kind of reminds me of uh, Blur from Transformers. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, I wasn't sure. I, I know that you're a little bit younger than I am, so I wasn't sure. If I, I know a little bit of my Transformers. Like, I, I, had, a, I had a Transformers phase uh, a little while back. Uh, yeah. And so I, uh, I, I... Mostly when I was a kid, Beast Wars was the thing. Um, yep. And so I, I definitely I was so prefer. Old when I was on. <laughs> yeah. I definitely prefer animals to to uh, truck. Monkey, not truck. Monkey, uh, not truck, I say. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But yeah. Uh, but uh, when the movies were, were starting to become a thing, I think maybe the second movie was coming out, yeah. I, uh, I started getting into the toy line. Okay. Because I liked having them as like these, like I liked having them as basically like a fidget toy to to do something with my hands while I yep. was yep. working on other stuff, uh, and then I I kind of got into them through those. I I should put out there that I hated those movies. Mm. They destroyed all the things that I held dear in my childhood. Oh yeah, I don't so... like the movies either. Those the, the movies suck, but uh, had some pretty cool toys. Um, yeah, I, yeah, those designs were cool. It's just like. The, the the action scenes didn't make any sense. Like they had to play them like at twenty percent speed so that you could understand what the hell <laughs> yeah. was going into your eyeballs. So I've literally only ever seen the first one, which is how I knew that I was like, I'm not yeah, I cool. I know how not to waste my time in the future. <laughs> yeah, that they made a lot of money with those and Oh, terrible. they sure did. That yeah. awful. Like go back I, I, and watch the like 19... the robots look ugly. The 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 plots dumb. I just like the cars look cool. 
so so have you ever seen the 1986 Transformers movie? Oh yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. The the you got the touch do 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 do. I knew we could yeah. be friends, Austin. I knew. Yeah. It. I knew it. Yeah, of course. It's a classic. Awesome. It is a classic. It's fantastic. All right. Who the hell are you? Liberation Army, come to help the elves. I guess we're all fools here. That's an Imperial uniform. Yep, I was a fool too. I risked my life to betray the Empire, and look at me now. How stubborn these elves are. They refuse to believe what I know. So what is it you know? Oh, that. The man in charge of this region is the great General Quanda Rosman. He has a commissioned a horrible weapon to exterminate the rebellious elves. Fire. Uh-oh. We are going to poison all of the dandelions and they will starve. <laughs> horrible weapon. What is it? You know what? I never really concern, considered what elves actually eat. And it might actually be dandelions. It never occurred oh, it's, to me. That... It, it's human flesh. Oh, yeah, elves are el elves are like cannibalistic. They like good good forest elves, are cannibalistic, and and they they uh, get high on hallucinogens and argue with the moon. I I can't refute what you're saying. I don't Sharky, know enough about my my high fantasy they, to be able to say he's a liar or oh okay I didn't know that. Yeah, I know that there are different elves. Steal babies. Uh, and and use their blood for for to to make wine. Why are we helping these guys? They sound like horrible people. They're <laughs> horrible people who we can point at the enemy. Ah, okay. I'm not sure, but it's called the burning. It's the bird. It's literally fire. Like I said, it. <laughs> they have a they have a laser eye. The, yeah, it's called the burning mirror. They say it can burn down an entire forest in an instant. Not only the elves, but the village where I was born. That's why I came. I wanted to warn the elves of this danger, so they could prevent the Burning Mirror's completion. And before you knew it, you were in this prison. How hard could it be to make a mirror, by the way? Like, it's they... gotta be a pretty big mirror. I suppose. Where are they getting all the sand to turn to glass? I don't know. There's probably some, some sort of trade negotiations going on. <laughs> Great, it's just the, like now. The, the, in, the internal politics of uh, Suikoden world. Yeah, I guess so. Mew! Uh, yep. Oh, this is, all right. Yep. Thanks, mate. Thanks for Now we go so, look like, at the bars. Dimensions. Yeah, and then uh, the purple-haired girl comes down the stairs and frees us. Okay. I mean, that that's literally what's probably going to happen. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, I know. I've, I've, I've done this enough. <laughs> who, who is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sylvania. I didn't expect this to happen. This is such a surprise. I am shocked. Grandpa said I shouldn't come here, but I have to ask. Would you like to be free? Ask what? Did you really buy a feather for 4,000 gold? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a good deal. <laughs> it looks good on me. Tell me, Kirkus, why are you so hung up on humans? Humans act big, but they're yeah. dead after only 50 years yeah. or so. It's like a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> why bother with such lowly creatures? Dead after only 50 years or so? What an awful thing to say. I'm going to live forever, for I am Gremio. I am Gremio. <laughs> Listen to me, Sylvania. It's, it's true that humans dislike elves and dwarves. We look down on humans. Humans look down on humans too. Yeah. <laughs> the dwarves detest us. Isn't it sad? After all, what's the difference between us? About 70 centimeters. Yeah, a couple feet. Why can't we get along? I just don't understand it. It's very sad. OK. 
Kirkis. I'm sorry, Kirkis. I don't understand what you're saying. It's like it's a different language or something. Yeah. I just can't. I just can't trust humans. And dwarves scare me. With their little pointy teeth. Yeah. Ah, look at this wall. I but, hear dwarves eat rocks. But I'll believe you. That their that their stomachs are internal furnaces that just run that just run as they eat as they eat different types of ore, and they poop out iron ingots. No, their 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 bodies run at one hundred percent efficiency. There's just little smokestacks come out of their ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't refute that either. <laughs> I believe whatever you believe. It, wow, this is real powerful, oh, wow. like. Yeah, writing wow. for Seems women. Like you've, you've really changed your mind. Yeah, I can see your heart is no longer that of a racist. <laughs> I'll do my best to believe. Sylvina. Here's the key to the cell. Do you think I'll end up here in, in here for doing this? You should probably keep the key just in case. Yeah. Ha! I stallion shall show you how fast I can run. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> it, it, incredible! Garbage ability. Kirkus, you run too. You can't run that fast, of course. <laughs> no. I can't run away. I have to do something about that burning mirror that Valerio was talking about. What can you do? I have an idea. Master McDole, northeast of this village is the village of the dwarves. Maybe they can give us a hammer and we can just smash the mirror. It's a good idea. They must know something. Let's get their help. Why can't we just throw a rock at it and just smash it from afar? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this is so that we can shift out our party. I'm wondering that too. Do you think we should? I mean, we could... We could Would we have, have to go through the kobold forest again? I think we probably... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait. That that girl might be able to just teleport us to towns? Tell you what. Right. So, we'll go back to the castle. Safe state. <laughs> Safe state Safe, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe state now. <laughs> we'll go back to the castle. We'll change out our party. And if it turns out to be bogus, we'll just come back here and choose the yeah. other. Okay. Yep. Young master, we don't have the time. Oh, okay. The burning mirror is being built at this very moment. You don't you don't get a choice. I know that you only ever say two things in a given hour's <laughs> worth of game, but no. We must hurry. As usual, the uh, the option of choice is taken away from us. People might think that you're the main character instead of me, Gremio. <laughs> Kirkus, are you going to dwarf country? They say dwarves eat elves. That's just a nasty rumor. We should get rid of prejudices like that. Let's go, Master McDole. Then we get there and it's like, Yum, dwarf, uh, elves! <laughs> Damn it, we don't have time to waste around here. We shouldn't have trusted those elves. Are, are you coming with us? I... <laughs> Hurry, Kirk, or I'll get in trouble. I guess oh, Valeria's just Valeria. staying in prison. Though. Valeria's like, no... I, I may not like that I've been imprisoned here, but I still respect the institution of law. <laughs> yes, I, I believe in uh, a peaceful protest. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just going to do a hunger strike. I changed my mind. I'm, the <laughs> hunger strike sounds lame. I'm hungry already. <laughs> yeah. Take me with you, Commander McDowell. I want to help protect this forest. Aha! Reduce so we have to get rid of somebody. By one. Uh, probably Jupo. He he's really. Uh, Do we not like? He's Jupo? really. Uh, well, he he hasn't been doing a ton of damage, but neither is Kryn for that matter. Um, I actually think Kryn is like. Kryn is yeah. Here. Kryn looks a little weaker. Yeah. Sorry, Kryn. Yeah. See ya. You had your chance. <laughs> Kirkus. Do you want to come along, Sylvania? This time you're welcome to join us. 
even though you're a girl. I'll stay. <laughs> I'll wait for you to come back. So promise me you'll return. Promise? Pinky swear. I promise I'll be back. I'll never make you feel sad again. It's a promise. Mwah! This is why this is why elves don't have pro uh, problems making promises to a human because it's like, hey, you're only gonna be alive for so much longer anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I have can wait you out. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that's like probably a a a. I bet you that that was Chewbacca's thinking too when he made the Wookiee life debt to Han Solo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like yeah. The Wookiees he's live a longer human. Than yeah, I think I think I think Wookiees live like 500 years or something like that. Oh wow, okay. It's still a decent chunk, but like, ooh. Oh, an eagle man. I wonder if Valeria won't be able to do anything because she looks like uh -oh. a short range character. I am correct. Ah. Oh, she has a rune. She has a rune. A no, falcon, falcon rune. rune. All right, let's see what that's a all about. A falcon rune for the eagle man. Yeah. What is better, falcons or eagles? Falcons. Falcons. Okay. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good rune attack. Yeah, yeah. And she's level twenty. Oh, and she's so already she's twenty three. Yeah. Yeah, she's a little bit ahead of us. How do I get to this thing? I can't Master, go over you the can't grass. walk through that. You can't walk through that grass. There's a, there's a sign. Uh oh. I also didn't change the. Okay, well, we get to see if uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> doing the falcon attack unbalances her, so I guess this is a good uh, a good check on that. I, I would be willing to bet that it does. I, I'm thinking it will, too. But she can't do anything else in that position anyway, so... Yeah. We're not losing out by doing it. Woo! She must have pretty high speed as well. She's going before, like, half of our team. Yeah, it doesn't look like she was unbalanced, either. No. So that's really good. Yeah, we could have her stay there and... Oh. <laughs> Bye, Bye Gregor. <laughs> Don't worry, I, Jubo, will get in the front. Oh, no. Um, all right, let's continue to use... But yeah, there's, no, keep... there's no MP, so we, there's nothing stopping yeah, us from using it over and over again. There's no reason not to, it seems. Maybe she's a temporary character. Yeah, because she's maybe. she's an imperial she's an imperial soldier, yeah. Yeah. So maybe I she just joins for a little bit, and then maybe we'll we'll fight her down the road or something. I'm not sure, you know, because I seem to remember her quite well. Hmm. So I'm wondering if she's a permanent feature. Could be. I don't know. So uh, whilst we're fighting these guys, um, what did you think of the? Uh, the only major RPG news that came out of the, the Nintendo Direct. And of course, what Would I mean be... by that is uh, Romba Strategy, the, uh, yeah. the game the game that's fantastic. And... Yeah, I, uh, I I played the demo when they when they put the uh, demo out for that uh, a little while back, a couple months ago, and uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the, the full game. Yeah, Which is weird because, like, I don't, I don't really like the gameplay style of like Final Fantasy Tactics very much, and oh, okay. this is very similar to Final it Fantasy is. Tactics. Yeah, lots of terrain, lots of you know, make sure you're hitting the guy from the right direction, you know, yep. stuff like that. Uh, but uh, something about this one was was working for me, and uh, I, I, it's it's my kind of like preferred fantasy world where it's. A little lower on the fantasy side and a little higher on like the feudal politics and stuff like that and so uh ah there we go yeah ah four thousand down the drain oh god <laughs> uh can i give can i give gremio two feathers no apparently oh wait a minute it not who, it, yeah he, he's it. gonna be holding it uh who has it yeah, he's gonna need a he's gonna need one feather for each foot now that he's getting rid of those boots. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, I'm no. being a dum dum. I'm being a dum dum. He he can't hold anything else, of course. Um... Needle. 
It pops a balloon, apparently. Which I'm going to assume is a... Um, a oh, it's effect. a status. Yeah. Uh, that's a that's a fun approach to status effects. It is. I really like, like, like the they're they completely, one. Yeah, they're completely different from anything that you might see in a regular game. I, I recall Earthbound having a lot of that as well. Like a mushroom status effect where uh, every... You've got a mushroom on your head on the map and I think every five seconds or so your control scheme shifts oh, and wow. so you have to like re-figure out how to move in the right direction yeah. and it, it's, it, it affects you because battles are caused by enemies that you're seeing on the map. And so being able to get away or, or move towards them at optimum capability is is like important. Yeah. Uh, so I mean this seems like a good a time as any to, to admit that I I never played Earthbound. Oh. You never should, played. it's good. I, I I'm well aware of that. Um I I just I was so let me get my thoughts in order. Sure. I hated the way that it looked. Really? I was not a fan. Huh. So, um, if, if a game didn't have like the Final Fantasy look to it, I wasn't interested. And it didn't have that Final Fantasy That's look. Neat. It had its own... I wouldn't say unique, mm -hmm. but it, it was it was very stylized, wasn't it? Yeah. So, for the time, for the time, I'd say it was pretty... It was pretty... Uh, for the time, I'd say it was pretty unique, just because it's like... You're in a... You're in an isometric-ish sort of... Uh, world. It's, I mean, it's uh, kind of like it's an RPG and it's modern. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, it it was certainly unique for the time. Nowadays, you know, a, a lot of games have taken inspiration from Earthbound, and so you see it a lot more often. Well, yeah, Undertale uh, being the biggest one that I can think. Oh of. yeah, yeah. Well, the guy the guy who made Undertale uh, got his start making Earthbound mods. Oh, that's interesting. Brother. Can we can we see what that is for? Uh, Toby Fox, by the way, is the name of the yeah. guy. That tells me nothing. No, it doesn't. The <laughs> sacrifice. Do we just leave him behind and we run away yeah. from a battle or something? <laughs> we like... drop we drop it and and we get good luck or something. I don't know. Okay, I'll have to look that one up. Or maybe yeah. you know if if you could leave a comment about like you know, hey, it's actually like the best item in the game you should be using it all across like actually there's that dragon thing that i keep forgetting that we have oh yeah that that can be used for healing and it, i wonder if we should be giving that to jupo since quite like, possibly it seems like he's he's been designated the healer because he doesn't do much weakest. damage yeah yeah although that did decent damage. oh yeah that, that's decent yeah yeah okay like it's yeah. not great, but it's 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 not the thirteens that he was getting earlier. Yes. Uh, no, I'm I'm very much looking forward to triangle strategy. Um, I, Looks like it's tactics. got a lot of like story, a lot of lot of branching story paths and stuff like that. I uh, I played I played Let Us Cling Together uh, a mm -hmm. couple of years ago, um, and it's a I had a wonderful time with that. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Uh, I need so, to. I, I keep. I keep saying I should do it because I really liked Ogre Battle '64. Um, karate uniform. Yeah. Uh, not formation. If you ever decide to. Like, we should put Valeria in front, though. Yes, because she has much. She's higher, in the back. Higher... And she can't attack. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That is good advice. Yes. Um, if you ever decide to uh, like stream you playing that, uh, let me know because I want to be there for that. Because that, okay. that's it. That's a wonderful like experience to have. Uh, I have I have streamed it before. I, I streamed about a session of it, and it was. It's one of those games. It's kind of like it's kind of like when you're streaming like uh, SRPGs and stuff, where it's like. You want to make sure that whoever you're streaming it with is like one. You don't want to stream it alone, obviously, because yeah. there's like not a whole lot to say during the during the battles. Like so, a lot of it is just like 
All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, so that that's exactly that's exactly my my experience because I streamed it for my first experience. But luckily enough, um, I I hadn't been playing it that long when some like veterans turned up, and they joined mm -hmm. me throughout the entire experience. It was it was really oh, nice. Cool. Um, it was it was a great thing. Uh, I think that probably added to how I oh, felt yeah, about to the, the game experience. in general. Yeah, that definitely can do um, it. But yeah, it, a bit. let me know if you decide you want to do that because that that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Yeah, because there is some, I, uh, there are some choices. There are some choices to be made. That's what I hear. I always yeah. hear that it's like oh the, the, yeah, it's like this one is like in, it's pretty intense. Yeah, and I'm like I want to get further in it. I just gotta like I, I just gotta like sit down and like power through it one of these days because I I've always heard that it's like it's one of the good ones. It and... is one of the good ones. It's fantastic. I can't yeah. recommend it enough. Uh, I need to figure out who has that dragon thing, me Bob, that heals everybody for free. I wonder if we had it on somebody who got swapped out. Odd. <laughs> You're probably right. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's like sucks. Cleo's got it back at back at the castle. Like, it might oh, literally be Cleo. This? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I read I was looking around for for stuff for some reason or other I forget during the the edit for this um, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the things that came up was hey you need to be like when you're swapping characters out you need to be thinking about like dropping all your stuff in the inventory thing because. That literal that will literally happen to you, and yeah. you'll lose and you'll forget like you know really key items that you should be using. Um, and no, I didn't I didn't me. take heed of, I didn't take heed of that at all. So, I'm like oh, I'll just live without them, you know. <laughs> I'll just keep using these you know hundred yen uh, medicines for the rest of the time, I guess. Yeah, I mean they're they're pretty good. You get six uses out of them, and so. Uh, and they usually do like at at our level. It's like what, like half health per pretty per much. use. Yeah, they're pretty good. I yeah. I mean, I, I'd prefer it if like you know we didn't have to do that if we could just use one item on everybody. Yeah, Another crystal. Or if they mm. if they did the uh the the dragon quest quality of life thing of of just having a. Uh, a heal button in the menu and then whoever does your heal will automatically heal everybody yep. or they'll use the items depending on what settings you have for it okay right. so we have two choices here we could have gone this way or there was a, a ladder on the left i think we well, should we don't we don't know what we don't know so uh, we should check this one out first i guess because we're yeah, already here sure. I'm just wondering if there was some, like, you know, amazing A weapon. treasure or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's always the way, though, isn't it? It could also be that that treasure is on this side, though. I suppose it did look like it opened up quite far. Up yeah. Ahead, but that, that was the thing I was getting to the point in um, Fantasy Star 4, which I, I've stopped playing now, because yeah. the, the, uh, the encounter rate just got really, really high and dumb, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of how I'm like. I'm like, if I if I don't end up beating a game in X amount of time, there's a good chance that I won't, because uh, I'm I'm ADHD kid. Like I, I my my focus is always bouncing around to a million different things, Same. and so uh, I, I like I, I usually give myself like two weeks topsies. Wow. Uh, okay. To 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 do a thing unless I'm really invested in it. Okay. Um, and then I'll I'll find something else that'll eat up a bunch of my time. So, um, something else I was playing the the last time we were uh, doing one of these, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Yeah. I, I have continued to play that. I, there was a chest back there. But ah. we'll leave it. For now, anyway. Hopefully we'll come back and we'll be able to get we'll, it. We'll probably make it. Like, so, in in Yakuza Like a Dragon, I'm still playing. I'm still loving it. I, I think it's a, it's a great game. Um, I spent the majority of the last week in a mini game in Yakuza Like a Dragon. Uh, and it's the Runner Company mini game. Oh, 
that they Oh, I didn't know about that. That sounds fun. They have them in quite a few of the, the Yakuza games where you take over a company and look after all their oh, finances and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, and the one in this one, I, <clears throat> I don't have a lot of experience in them because I've only played this one, a little bit of Kwame 1 and Zero. Yeah, but I played was, Zero mostly. There was a a, um, a mini game just like that in Zero, so mm -hmm. that was there. Um, I guess we got this one. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah. And yeah, I was I was enjoying the. It, it's basically a clicker if you've ever played one of those. Oh yeah. Where you just play it. Uh, you you send your your minions out to to basically run the shop, and mm -hmm. they make money for you, and the yeah. numbers go up. Big um, big number make make lizard brain happy. My lizard brain was very happy by the end. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, again. it's this guy. Dwarf stingy. Keep sickness cure secret. But Kurumimi never give up. That kobold. It's wretched. Let's kill it. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> you, I don't forgive. Grrr, but Kurumimi busy now. I'll just run through your sprites. Yeah, I've got to say, we're not getting a whole lot of uh, experience from killing these guys. Yeah, not 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 at this point. I mean, I, with so, um, Valeria being like level twenty three. I, I kind I of wonder. assumed we were a little bit underleveled, and we get a lot mm -hmm. of XP off these guys, but it just hasn't happened. Maybe they... It could be that Valeria being here is, like, offsetting the amount of experience that we should be getting, because she's a higher level and everything yeah, is... Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> that, one, that one frame of animation of her being this like this... trampled and then <laughs> <laughs> That got me. I, I wasn't. I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She she looks kind of like a Blaze from uh, Streets of Rage. She does. Yeah. That that outfit is definitely doing that for her. I seem to remember her quite. Now now that she's here, like I seem to remember mm -hmm. her being part of my main party. So I wonder if she's actually very strong and will yeah, stay with Yeah, it'd be easy us. to see why. With that Falcon Rune attack, and then yeah. you know she starts out at a higher level. Uh, she's been doing pretty solid damages even when she's uh, not using the Falcon Rune, but just doing an attack. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I wonder what the you, what the deal with that? these dwarves are. Have you have you like muted the Discord? No. Oh, I somebody somebody's like just spamming the Discord. I oh, oh, I, so I have I have my noise like I, I don't get Discord notifications uh, yeah, maybe, in maybe. noise form. There we go. Okay. Right. So. Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay, everything's working Ooh. again. Thank God. All right. <laughs> uh, I I. Must have minimized the um, uh, our Discord screen, so our uh, oh yeah <laughs> cameras weren't working. So uh -oh. oh no, it's all broken, but it's okay now. Let's see, so we got Valeria up there. Ah. Uh oh, a puzzle. Oh. Oh, how a feel, safe. How point. do you feel about these kind of puzzles in in these games? Uh, I actually really I'll like. I'll them. I'll tell you as soon as I solve it. <laughs> it, it, it's just the ground. It, oh, oh, it's it's just yeah, it's not a puzzle, unless it is. All right. Except it's not. No. Unless. Unless. <laughs> um. Yeah, I. Yeah, I, no, I I like the uh, I I like puzzle puzzle style RPGs. Um. Uh, like Lufia Two has a lot of puzzles. Yep. Very good game. Yep. Very uh, good game. Golden Sun from our, our our good friends over at Camelot Software, very I, puzzle I oriented. I, I so there was a period when um, I was part of a like game rental service. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think Amazon. It's called a Game Pass. It. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he did that, not me. So um, <laughs> no, it was. I think I think it was run by Amazon or something like. It was like early uh, Amazon. We're, game, we're is, is it like Gamefly or something like that? 
I don't think it was. I know what Gamefly is, but I don't think we had it over here. Um, anyway, so I, I actually got sent Golden Sun. But because it was a rental game, I felt no affinity towards playing it. Do you know what I mean? I didn't have the same sort of like... Um, it's a, it's a big, long RPG. It's a big, long RPG, and so I, was I only have it for it. X amount of time. Yeah. I, I was, so I, I no, played it no for a sense bit. in getting invested, yeah. Yeah, I, I just couldn't get invested in it. That, that, that's the correct word I should have used. But um, I, I just couldn't get into it. I got like maybe two hours into it. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think I actually have a problem with um, handheld consoles. Oh, interesting. So I, if there's an opportunity for me to put something on my PC rather than like a Switch, because my Switch mm -hmm. is in the other room, it's in the family room, and yeah. it's never in handheld mode, it's always on the, the big TV. Yeah. Um, you'll, yeah you'll, I, take the, uh, you'll take the big screen version over the handheld version. I see. Yeah, no, I've, I, I've known people like that. That's never been me. I, I, I'm such a, like, I, I love having, it, it's partially because, oh, all right, well, uh, I guess we can't get in. <laughs> where, where do we go? Uh, was, were there stairs somewhere, something? The, there, there. There's literally okay. stairs that were right it's there. Like right at the beginning. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I, it worked better for my, for my ADHD brain. Uh, to be able to focus on my game while also having something on in the background on TV. Mm. And I can't do that with, like, big screen games. And so, uh, with a handheld game, I I could, like, feel way more, like, immersed and, like, just picking up on both both streams of, of information at once. Like, if one of them slowed down, it was okay, because I could shift my focus to the other one, yeah. and, and just back and forth. So, I had that same experience uh, when I was growing up, except I had, like, I had literally, like, a PC and a TV. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, <laughs> so I had that as well. I had so. the same experience, I was just wasting way more electricity. I was just being yeah. very wasteful. Well, uh, I, I would actually, in my in my older years, I would actually have like all three. <laughs> so uh, it's just like my DS, my, uh, oh, this guy. <laughs> Dude, come on, you're killing and me. And he's here. just not even moving. He's <laughs> like, nah, I live here. All right, okay. Can we come back? We can reset the map. Get out of the, no, yeah. get out of the way. Nope, ah, nice try. <laughs> Here we go. Hey! Oh! Hmm, Moss, eh? Okay. If Moss thinks you guys are okay, then you're okay. I'm Meese. Yeah. Th there's some naming conventions going on here. Wait until you meet my friend Moose? Yes. I'll, I'll help you out. Put me in charge of your weapons. Alright, I'll go tell the Chief of the Dwarves that I'll be gone for a while. After that, we'll go to Grey School Castle. Yeah, we will. Nice. And you will have the power. That's right. Uh, let's. Yeah, we gotta our, sharpen our stuff. How much is that costing? That's not that much. Okay, I think we yeah, can probably do not, that for everyone. Not... Okay, Valeria's uh, already at level it's seven. It's getting there. <laughs> That's probably why she's probably so powerful. I'm gonna say actually, we didn't fight that many battles, and we already like got a fair bit of cash money yeah. for ourselves. So. so we were at like fifteen thousand earlier, yeah. and then we had twenty something by the time we got up here. We have all these ru uh, rune pieces. We should probably do something with them. Oh okay. Oh uh, yeah, if you want. I mean, it's not gonna cost anything, so. Enchant weapon with water attribute. Oh, okay. I see. But does that mean it's going to be poopy against? Yeah, I always, things? I always feel weird about slapping an element on my weapon because I'm like, yeah, I don't know how long that's going to be useful and when it will eventually become detrimental to me. 
and then I've forgotten that I had added the water element to my weapon, and I'm just sitting here like, why am I doing, well, I'm doing such no low damage? damage? Yeah. yeah. I... Hey, are you one of those so-called humans? Yes, I am. And that that sounded like. Why did that young child sound like he was 70 years old with like a bad habit? Yeah, I look. You don't know, dwarves age backwards. Okay, you don't Benjamin know that. Button over here. Okay, yep. I get it. All right, this guy's the All biggest right. horse, so he obviously must be the chief. These these houses have kind of like a Dragon Ball Z style to them. They kind of do, yeah. Well, uh, with you, unusual yeah. visitors, human and elf, hand in hand, what brings you to the dwarf mines? Chief of the Dwarves, we come to ask you a favor. A proud elf asking a lowly dwarf for a favor. I kind of like the way his uh, his look is. Like he's got like these like kind of serpentine eyes. Yeah, it's quite a dark look for this game. Yeah. Chief, have you ever heard of a burning mirror? Of course I have. It's one of our treasures. Oh. Quanda Roseman has gotten hold of the blueprint and is planning to burn down the forest. What? No, I was going to burn down the forest! <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> All the elves are killed! <laughs> oh, we thought you were cool for a second. Me too. What, yeah. a, what a thing to say! Besides, do you expect me to believe that one of you sluggish humans really succeeded in stealing a blueprint from us. <laughs> it's true. A fellow called Kage stole the blueprint. Yeah, thanks, Kage. <laughs> You'll have to prove such human competence. You're saying a human can break into our vault. Try it, then. We'll take us over and we'll show you exactly how the human <laughs> broke into it. Challenge accepted. Uh... Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's give it, yeah. <laughs> what fun. They tried to steal the running water route from our vault. If you can do that, I'll believe your story. Our vault is due north of this village. The combination is 3524. Yeah. He's lying. It was way too big to build here. <laughs> okay. See you later. All right. All right. See you when we break into your house and steal more stuff. Feels like we've been doing a lot of that lately. Did, did he say it was north of here? Yeah, he said it was north of the village. So I think we have to get onto the world map and then move north. Okay, okay, okay. I was wondering if he was in the village somewhere, but yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I see yeah. it. Uh-huh. Here's our fancy kobolds late for their 6 p.m. meeting. It's a great, it, it's a great uh, design, though. I, I do like. Yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. It almost it, the uh, the one shoulder like uh, pauldron kind of reminds me of um, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think a lot of Fire Emblem characters kind of have that uh, have that going on as well. Uh, a lot of the the. Uh, Mercenary class, I think. At least okay. in the Game Boy Advance one, I think. I could be completely wrong. But... Oh, are they the um, the the sword? What yeah, they're kind of like just for them? general sword boys. Uh, general sword. Yeah. The chief has filled us in. This vault can't be opened by a stupid elf. Okay, what about us humans, though? That should be. A yeah, good he. Word. He. he shows us a, a, a circular knob, and the elf's like, I have no idea what this is. How do we open this? Uh -oh. <laughs> That's right. Break into our vault, where we've got roving criminals ready to beat you up. Yeah, it's interesting. It, it's, it's an interesting way of, like, you know, policing everything. Yeah, like, I'm not if, sure if how you they stop weren't them going to try to... If they weren't going to try to steal stuff, uh, oh. then they wouldn't be uh, punished for stealing. I kind of expected them to be more tough than that. Yeah. Well, we did just upgrade our weapons, so... Right. Fair, fair. 
This is a interesting little tune. Okay. Oh, okay. Puzzle. Puzzle. An actual puzzle. Oh. Okay. Okay. I want to get. We the can chest. get that treasure chest. Yeah. I want the chest. I want the shiny. Sunbeam crystal. Okay, sunbeam. Ah. Okay. Make us okay. come all the way down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. No. So I think you'll want to flip the the uh, the right one and the middle one. Maybe there's a maybe. Is there another switch down here? I don't know. We're not getting into any fights either, so that's good. Yeah, an experiment. That, that's it. good. Yeah, it gives us time to think about the puzzle. That's okay. one of the things that's tough about Golden Sun is that the random battles are always on during yeah. puzzles, and so you come back to it and you're like, "Oh wait, what was I doing? What? I haven't seen. A I haven't seen this. The yeah, there's no combination where that." And I think we've done most of the combinations at this point. Yeah, there's nothing we can do there. And I think we already did this one. Maybe click on it? No, nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we've tried... We've tried having all three flip. That was the first thing we tried. Yeah. I feel like we tried this one, but unless you can't, I hmm. maybe see what that sunbeam crystal does. So I'm thinking maybe there's a way we can shoot a laser at it, and that way we can get Pat. No. Okay, auto region. That's pretty good. Yeah, we need to equip that at some point. Wait. Oh. Really? Weird. I swore that was the very first thing we tried. I thought so too. Oh, okay. I, I Whatever. Know. Bring on the next one. Ooh. More machines. Dwarf Wait. machines. Dwarves do make uh, machines, so I, I can see it. I can see them being here. I. Oh, okay. Oh wow, that guy went down quick. Yeah. Okay, these are, these are not good machines. Super They're... easy. Yeah. They, and we're getting were... a lot of experience for them, too. Yes. Interesting, okay. I like this. So, whilst we're, we're in another maze, okay. Another maze, um, okay. Maze what have easy. you been playing, Austin? This, this uh, so this past week, I uh, got a little bit into uh, Borderlands 3. Been trying to uh, give that one a go. Uh, I have a bunch of friends who are, like, in it. I'm jealous. Um, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, but I haven't, I haven't, like, sat down and actually played it yet. Um, oh, okay. So, I've uh, been giving that one a go. Really liked the second one. And, uh, and so... I'm uh, I'm giving that one a, a bit of a go to see if you know it, it strikes me as much as the second one did. Uh, what so I understand, parts, so it is okay. it, it's more more Borderlands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more Borderlands, and that's that's fine. Uh, more Borderlands is what I wanted, so uh, I'm I'm content with that. Uh, and then what else was I playing? I was playing something else. Oh yeah, I, I started playing uh, the uh, vampire game. Uh, Which one? There are many. Yeah, the it's just called Vampire. Uh, oh. oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, it takes place in in London during the uh, Spanish flu. Yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah. Game pass. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I said it. 
Yeah, uh, I think it's pretty good. I, I like the uh, the combat's kind of kind of a little bland, but it's fine. It it gets the job done. Uh, what's really interesting are the the way you interact with NPCs and you do side quests for them. And the better you know somebody, and the more you have done for that person, the more experience you get when you permanently kill them for their blood. <laughs> Okay, so these people are just walking around being your blood banks. Yeah, basically. And like the the they're all like pretty decently written characters and stuff like that. And you know, they all have like interpersonal relationships with other people in that district. Uh, oh, okay. And so it's uh, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I of course am trying to be the good vampire who, who okay. doesn't drink the blood of the innocent. Of course. Uh, and I, so, yeah. I've got to ask. So when we, maybe on the second or third episode of doing this together, you mm -hmm. talked of playing The Witcher Three. Oh yes. Is is that no longer a thing? Is that? Oh, two weeks have passed. Two weeks have passed. I'll I'll get back to it someday. <laughs> but but something else grabbed my attention, and so uh, no, I I played a, I played it. I. I got further this... I, I shouldn't say I got further, because that's not exactly true. Uh, I had one playthrough where I got to Skellige. Uh, okay. Yeah, and so that's that's a, a decent ways into the game, yeah, that's, but probably that's still pretty bad. early. Yeah. So this time, time, I was just about to get to Skellige, and then uh, and then a, a brain worm set in, and I was just like, uh, something else. So when you go to Skellige, is that after the, the big battle where you've got that... Um, mind, like uh, I forget. I forget what happened. You're in this like giant battle, and mm -hmm. you've got this sort of like force field around you. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Yes, yes, that would be that would be after that, at least as far as what I have done so far. Uh, so that's where you in first there. you first encounter you first encounter a a. Uh, a, uh, I, I almost said the Night's Watch, but that's not accurate. Uh, the Wild Hunt. Uh, Wild Hunt you yes. first encounter a, a member of the Wild Hunt, and he sends like dogs after you, and, and then you fight him one on one. Uh, that sounds right. Yeah. It, it's so been I, ha I have done that, yeah. Okay. So the first time I played the game, that's where I got to. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just I just played that bit, and I was just like, this, this isn't for me. I I'm not enjoying off. the combat. Um, and then I, the second time, like I came to it, I did. I did what? I, I can't remember if I remember hearing it on like a, a podcast or reading it somewhere. Basically, somebody saying like, "Hey, if you're not feeling it, just turn down the the difficulty, and everything will be fine." Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. what I did, and I, I got all the way through it. So yeah, I'm I'm sure I will pick it up again at some point. Uh, usually whenever I, I pick up a game again for the first time, I will just start a new game because I'm yep. like, yeah, I don't want to pick it up in the middle. But I think I've done the beginning of The Witcher 3 enough times now <laughs> that, that I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll just pick it up. Uh, I, I did all of the, the Bloody Barons little side quest thing. I was uh, just going to ask. Oh, that was a lot of fun. That game. That's, that's oh, is it? It, well, like that's disappointing, time. but <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. No, I, I I liked that whole chapter. I thought that was that was good stuff. I mean, it's not to say that the rest is like you know um, disappointing in quality. Mm -hmm. It's just that that's like a real high point. Yeah, so, yeah. It was it was good stuff. The yeah. the the little the little gross uh, the little gross baby. Yeah. Uh, the the little elf child in the woods with his his big eyes and. And uh, the witches, ah, oh, those witches are so cool. Yeah, yeah. You were saying like the when we talked about it last time that like the the thing that stood out to you was the the monster design. Monster design. design. Yeah. I, I'm all the, all the care that. put to that. Uh, all the care that's put into knowing knowing both where those a lot of those legends originate and. Uh, having like a, a very diverse variety of folk spirits and stuff like that where everyone's just like yeah 
you, you need to make sure that you you know you need to make sure that you name the baby before you bury it. Otherwise, you're going to get a, a, a floating floating baby ghost. So a lot of these things, I wonder. I, I wonder if they're taken from like uh, Pol. Is it Polish? It's Polish. Um, um, the, the books. The are from writer. The Polish book, yeah. Right? I think I wonder, that they're largely like Scandinavian inspired. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, like the uh, house tales. spirits, house spirits, and folk tales and stuff like that. Uh, absolutely, I remember. This one. Is this a uh, is this a Pokemon uh, a Pokemon esque ice puzzle? Yeah, kinda. It's like I'm gonna take you there. Wait, we got to the other. Uh, no, I want easy. the chest. How easy was of that? Of course, you want the chest. That's what they're counting on. No. Maybe this one? The, the right. Ah. Uh, Aha. Oh, okay. All right. I'd have guessed the right because my my initial instinct was to go down because obviously that, that thing is beneath us. And so I thought they were trying to trick us. I... Nope. Oh, I wait. Right yeah, see what's going on now. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We, we're yeah. Now. Still no pretty need, easy. No need to worry. Yeah, it's very easy. That needed to be a lot more complex to be even mm -hmm. slightly. The fancy. the ballroom was harder. Yes. Oh boy. The gang's oh. all here. Yeah, there's quite a few of them this time. I to be fair, they've not really been bothering us too much. Like we're getting pretty yeah. guys pretty easily at this point. Yeah. I feel like we're at, the, only get easier. we're at the point now where, you know, we're we're well geared up and uh, I've remembered that. Hey, you need to sharpen those weapons if they're going to be remain effective. Yeah. So I think we're in a good spot at the moment. Oh, hey. Um, so uh, I I watched a movie this week. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, and it's a movie I haven't seen for a long time, and I had forgotten how good this movie is. And it's a movie, movie you know well. It? Oh, is it? Yeah. Can you get? Can you remember what it what it is? Because I watched is it, it. I watched. Is it, it, it Blade? <laughs> No, it's not. Oh, no, you watched it on the Discord, so it was uh, Pat Labor. Pat Labor, yeah. Yeah. That movie's yeah, great. I saw, I saw that y'all were watching that, and I was like, ah, yeah. oh, I want to I watch Pat Labor. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it in a while either. I really like the... I really like how it's like... It feels very grounded, especially yes. for a mech series, which typically they're like bigger bigger Fantastic. and bigger and bigger and more crazy and fantastical and yeah. so i like pat labor because it's like no these are just giant robots that that help us that, that we use as like heavy machinery yeah. like we do it we use them for construction and stuff uh we they're not made to fight except for of course the police's well which at is that, what that makes point them like, yeah i mean if somebody uses them for the wrong means you need yeah, lab, you need labors to take on labors. Yeah, uh, yeah. So and yeah, then they, they pull out I, their giant revolver with the the big bullet casing. Yeah, I do like how how realistic that is. Like they fire their six rounds yeah. and then they've got to get out and reload it because yeah. like, the machine <laughs> yeah. can't. You know, it's it's not that versatile. It's not that flexible. Yeah, it's not it not do. so dexterous that it's like oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then they got to ch carry these like enormous bullets. They're like this big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I and like, so that's I like how that. I think it was. Yeah, that I think is is one of the things that really sticks out to me about like why that show. I I remember it as a TV show. Uh, I I'm sure there were movies, but uh, I had watched I had watched the the anime uh, back in the day, and uh, that was one of the things that really stuck out stuck out to me because like at the time, the only other Wow, all right. Not much of a Get death bonk. machine. Get bonked, nerd. Yeah. Uh, and then... Uh, the only other thing that that I had, or the only other frame of reference I had for, like, mech was Gundam. And Gundam right. can be pretty political and stuff like that, but yeah. the robots definitely have power-up modes that, that, you know, don't always make sense, but are cool to see and... You know, a lot of mech shows operate on the rule of cool, uh, yeah. where it's like, if as long as it's awesome, yeah, it can do it. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. 
Yeah. And... Yeah, the, yeah, the pilot's constantly unlocking new new machine modes in your in your Gundam that nobody knew about. Uh, and so it's just like, oh, okay, yeah, I, I bonded with my robot, and now he's got a super form. <laughs> uh, Isn't that but you don't see the... that in Pat Labor. Isn't there an EA game that does exactly that, though? I forget what it's called Is there? now. Um, um, oh, never mind, it's not that important. It's yeah. a really good game, I, I'd forgotten what it's called. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I like how grounded it is, like, even though there's this fantastical thing. Like, I mean, the, the entire like movie could happen without the robots and it would have been fine. Yeah. Like, it still would have been a yeah. great a great experience. It still would have been but, a good movie. Yeah, because, I mean, you're not there. Like, seeing the, the, the really great animated robots is nice. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. But you're there for the intrigue of, of what's going the robots, on in the story. Yeah, the robots are tools. They're yeah. not, like, they're not, they're it's thrust. not so much as, like, it's not so much that the entire plot is centered around robots, uh, or it's, it's just like, you know, hey, what if there was a world where bipedal human-shaped robots took off for some reason, even though it's a terrible idea? <laughs> You say that, but those Boston Dynamic uh, robots still look pretty cool to me. They can do. They oh can yeah, do things yeah. Like that. Oh, they'll they'll kill all of us one day. So yeah, definitely. Uh, but I like the. I think, as far as like a piloted machine goes, terrible idea to have a bipedal robot, where you've yeah. got to have a person inside the machine, and then you know, theoretically. This guy's getting rockets shot at him, and so everyone's just like, well, duh, you shoot the legs, or you just shoot anywhere, because it, getting shot by a rocket will still knock the thing over. Yep. No, you're not wrong. And if it, gets knocked, if it gets knocked over, you did it! Yay! The yeah. battle's over! <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly like... Yeah, tanks, tanks are better than bipedal robots. It, no brainer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, I still like Mecha though, just because I I think it's cool. <laughs> it's yeah. Just like I don't want to sound like I'm shitting all over those shows where where you know uh, you no, unlock cool. more robot modes. Those are cool. I yeah. love those. Uh, but uh, the thing that that's unique about Pat Labor is that it it feels very much like it's like in the real world, just with big machines. Oh, okay. Fiddle D, diddle D, piddle D do. Can we just fiddle D? Oh, can you hear that? Yeah. It's like a dial tone. Yeah. So fiddle D, diddle so, D. Fiddle D, fiddle, fiddle D. is left and D is right. Okay. So it's left, right, right, right. Left, left, right, right. right left, right, right. Yeah. Yes. So we're on the fourth. So, one. so. That's that's right oh. again. Huh. Oh. So that's uh, four uh, in. That should be. So maybe it's. Oh. Oh. Okay. No? I kind of thought that that might have been a clue. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Sound... I think I, I'm sure it is in some way, but I think we're we're far enough along at this point that we could just fifty fifty the rest of it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. What yeah. a password I, that was. I, I did not understand the puzzle, but it was solved. Oh man! I like the shiny. So close. I, I can't mention I can't not mention um, Pat Labor without having mentioned the um, the extreme close up like shouting that goes in. Oh Do yeah, remember I like, I, I remember I, I remember argument. everyone being being very bombastic and stuff like that. Yeah, like it's such a serious movie, but there's still like time for some good laughs. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good mix. Like it definitely yeah. has. Um, scenes where it's like deadly serious, 
Like, mm-hmm. you know, you go into these places where things are getting knocked down and it's like everything's like trash piles and very dangerous. Yeah. And, and then there's two guys shouting each other because, like, you know, one of them ate a hot dog or something like that. You know, <laughs> you ate my lunch, like that sort of thing. Yeah. So it, I, it I, combines it combines the fantastical and the mundane in such a way uh, that I think is very unique for uh, anime. Yeah, I think a lot of the time, like, you can have one or the other, but it's difficult to have both. Yeah. Um, and it manages I, to walk that line of, like, interpersonal co-worker relationships and, you know... Not everybody gets along super well, and, and you know, just stuff like that. While also, giant robots are happening. I've got to say that maybe the um, is it Noah, the uh, the the girl pilot. Mm-hmm. She she's a, I, I feel like she's a little bit maybe not written the best. Talking of like human uh, female characters that are maybe not sure. taken the most care of. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there's a couple of times when she's like. She, I think she goes around to the, the main character's uh, house and she immediately assumes the, the wifely role of like, hey, can I make you some lunch or some tea or something like that? And I was like, yeah. this is his house. Maybe he should be offering you that, like, not the other yeah. way. I wonder if it's just kind of a cultural thing or alternatively it's just like a scene of a way to inform something about her as a character where where she's kind of like uh a little overbearing oh cool we can buy a feather with that yeah um it it was a scene used for like a a plot device so you you're right in that regard but it's just the way it, it came across as being like you know, she she's the subservient woman female character yeah. that has to serve the man. It just mm-hmm. it, it played a little bit wrong to me. Yeah. By the way, have you yeah. seen the second Pat Labor movie? So I don't I don't know if I've seen any of the movies. I uh, the only yeah the only okay. thing I remember really engaging with as far as Pat Labor goes, and and I've tried to find it before, but I just I couldn't. Uh, did not have the the Google Foo skills necessary to uh, come across it back in the day. Uh, I know a guy. I know a guy. Yeah, I can set you. A- I know a guy. He runs a he runs a shady Russian website that will give you a virus. Uh, <laughs> That's likely, yeah. And uh, uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, no, I I watched. I, I guess it was maybe an OVA or something where it was yeah. like a, a a short series. Um. And I remember, I remember some some good bits out of that, uh, and and mostly like the aesthetic of it really stuck with me. So I haven't seen the TV series. I've only seen that one mm. movie. No, oh, okay. <laughs> so I really, I really liked it though. I, I thought it was great. Yeah. So maybe I maybe I will watch the the TV show. Uh, yeah, you should check it out, and then tell me hold if it up holds up. I don't know. <laughs> I was I was like, you should tell me if it holds up. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, I, I will take that journey for both of us. Because I was I was like eleven or twelve when I watched it, uh, okay. and I was I was in. And you understood you know, it, like it, it's not a. It, it, it was mean, it like some of the stuff probably went over my head, and there was probably aspects of it that I couldn't uh, really super strongly appreciate as a uh, as a twelve year old. Yeah, this this dungeon's starting to get pretty samey looking. Yeah, it's. Um... Uh, I mean, I'm going to get uh, through the enemy so quickly because otherwise, this would just be a little bit. This would be a nightmare, yeah. A bit lame. The wheel, because the wheel was like it was tough. Because like the enemies were were they were beating us up. They were they, they were, were beating us up. Down, yeah. So. At least we're gonna get a lot of money. We can buy a lot of feathers with all this money that we've got. <laughs> and you, you gonna say that? I knew it. How much money do we have? Uh, for, oh wow, grand. that's yeah, that's like it's like ten feathers. It, it's not. No. No, it's it's like my math nine. is terrible. It's oh nine. well, it, it, uh, ten is like nine feathers. Great. Well, okay. like like is like means like is an invitation to round. Remind me next time I need financial advice not to come to you. <laughs> that is that is 
Uh, I I would remind myself that, but unfortunately, someone has to do my taxes. <laughs> so you know, in the UK, we don't do that, right? Oh yeah. We, we pay we pay VAT, value added tax, and that does that for us on everything. Yeah, a lot of it is on done for us. Yeah, for most things, it's done for us, like for like state tax and stuff like that. Depending yeah. on what state you live in, because it's different everywhere. Um, for Cape. But we have to get rid of something. Maybe sense. we can get rid of one of those ornaments. Those those seem kind of... Oh, okay. Yeah, useless. Uh, and, then, uh, and then once per year, you'll do your federal taxes. Uh, which is either a complete headache or uh, a 45-minute quick little process if you, you know... If you're like me, who doesn't have any kids or a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of getting around it, I suppose. Yeah. So the only uh, aspect of like taxes that I like, understand and have witnessed is basically what I've seen on The Simpsons. Yeah. Uh, like Homer's like, you know, he, he, he's like, no, Lisa, I did that a year ago. Dad, you have to do that every year. <laughs> yeah, and he, like goes into a proper like. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some people are like that. To be fair, really, that's yeah. That's not good practice. They get audited. <laughs> uh, my dad, my well, growing up, my dad was like, there are there is one institution, son, that you never owe. Oh, uh, dude, that's an you interesting might monster. Look at your legs. That, that's a very interesting mon monster. It's, um, I, I'm not sure like, how I feel about that. It's kind of unsettling. Yeah. Oh, well, a good monster should be unsettling. I suppose. Okay. I'm, I'm interested. Wow, yeah. We're I'm interested to see guy. what kind of attacks he might have. Wow, yeah. Maybe he'll flip at some point, and then you can only do magic. Hello. Oh. Wow. That wasn't, Out, that wasn't that bad at all, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking how this is going so far. It's been quite easy. Yeah. We're actually, if we're actually at, at, at time when we should be, like, finishing the episode, but I think we'll get past this and then we'll, we'll yeah. stop. Yeah. Hopefully he goes down quite quickly. He's got, like, two more hits left, but... <laughs> I, I mean, this is probably when we'll find out he's got, like, 25,000 HP or something like that. I mean, even then, he'll probably go down pretty quick. Because <laughs> we're doing at least 100 damage per attack. There's six attacks. A lot of those attacks are doing 200. And so I'm going to sit here and pretend to do math in my head for a second. The cat's already out of the bag on that one, Austin. Sorry. I'm making an attempt to redeem myself. <laughs> But yes, that, that, that organization that you should never, ever, ever mess with, according to my father, is the Internal Revenue Service, yeah. uh, who are in charge of all even, taxes. Even the Joker won't mess with him. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's a really great joke about uh, about that in Batman. Yeah. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, and he dodges as well. This is a good turn. Yeah. Oh, you so should speaking... just keep, keep doing that fire thing. Oh, easy! Get on our level, I guess. Yeah. Which is now level 26. Mm-hmm. So there we go. We defeat that. Uh, we should... Can you hang on five minutes whilst we, we see what's in here? Yeah. And then we'll... Yeah. Yeah. We'll... Uh... Wait, there's more? Like... Oh, is this guy a mini-boss? Felt yeah. like a mini-boss. I mean, Defense yeah, he, room? he okay. went down really quick. Yeah. And there's more enemies in here. Interesting. Okay, maybe, maybe it was just like overconfident. We'll see. Just like, We're so good I, right now. We're in a good spot. Yeah. Everything's easy. I, I'd i be willing to bet that we're probably pretty close to the end. I but... hope so. Like, this is, this is quite a long section. Like, we haven't yeah, done this, any this has been the longest. Place. Yeah, this has been the longest dungeon in the game by far up to this point. Yeah. Hmm. 
So you would think that we're getting near the end because <laughs> you would hope so. Yeah. I so th there definitely has been like aspects of this game that I've been impressed by, and there were definitely some aspects of it that I'm like, oh, this is showing its age. But I'm, you know, maybe it could have been done with like a little bit more tweaking here and there. Yeah. For, like, you know, um, mm -hmm. quality of life and length of some of these areas could have been maybe toned down just a smudge i mean the... yeah that 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 right there oh yeah that that feels so that, good that when... is that is hell on earth right now yeah that that hurts me so good when uh, when that happens um but yeah then... I... yeah there it is yeah that was the boss that was the yeah. boss everybody that the upside-down guy who took a lot of damage. I mean, he wasn't wearing any armor, so maybe he should be taking yeah. damage. I don't he had know. two. He had two hearts for you to stab. That's and true. So... Maybe he's a time lord. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Huh. But yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for Austin uh, for for joining me. It was it was a lot of fun, and we didn't have like a, a stupid wheel or anything to bother us this time. Yeah, we it was just, just a dumb long dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got we got talking to a lot of stuff, so we, we got through some yeah. stuff that we we needed to say. So um, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch everyone next time. So see you later. Ciao. Well, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> you made me self conscious about my goodbye. <laughs>